If you openly carry a firearm and you do not do so in a quality retention holster, you are wrong and you should feel bad. Hi everybody, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. I'm actually not sure where this one comes from, so if you have information, put it in a comment and I will add it to the description. If you use an AR-15 for home defense, you need to practice with your trigger and your sights. The Mantis Blackbeard allows you to do that much more effectively. It's a drop-in bolt carrier group and magazine that works with your trigger and your sights in your rifle to give you real-time feedback and reset your trigger up to 10 times a second. I use it all the time to be more proficient as a carbine shooter and I recommend it highly. Guy on the right you can just barely see actually has a gun sticking out of his front right pocket there right next to his chain and you can see the guy behind him with his hands on his head kind of looking around like man what am I going to do about that and our dude with the firearm on him is not doing anything not paying any attention and so guy's just going to walk up and yoink his gun and run off. We're going to watch it a couple more times so you get to see it. You just see he's just standing there not paying attention. Dude just yanks the gun right off his hip and then runs off. And like I said, I don't have a news story on this one, so if you have seen anything, put it in a comment so that I can add it to the description. Now then, I know people are gonna say a retention holster is the, one of the things here. We're definitely gonna talk about that as one of our lessons, but I also wanna remind you there's a link in the description to why the Serpa holster is hot garbage and is not on the list of approved holsters almost anywhere for a reason. So watch that video too and don't use that one. First things first, if you wanna openly carry a firearm, I think that should be legal across all 50 states and the district but that does bring with it some concomitant responsibilities. And probably the biggest two are that you need to carry in a quality active retention holster. And of course, I do not mean something with a trigger finger release like a Serpa, I mean something with a thumb release, something that is a high quality active retention holster. And you must recognize that it does make you a target. It's a valuable item that you have out there for people to see, like a very expensive watch. So pay attention to your world. Now that's our big problem here is that you notice that our dude is, he's got this gun is not in a proper holster. My guess is just sticking in his pocket or maybe he's got like a cheap nylon floppy holster or something for it. And dude's just looking around. Now my guess is right here as, as we're looking at what he's doing is this is just a targeting of opportunity is that it doesn't look like he stalked him. It looks like he was thinking about it for a while. And then he's just like, man, I could probably take that guy's gun right off of him. And of course, you know, I, I hear people talk about open carry all the time and they say, oh, it's a crime deterrent. And it says that I won't be a victim. Well, in cases like like this it most clearly doesn't against the kind of attacker who says well gosh I can take that off his body and have myself a gun it does not deter crime it actually spurs crime so if you're gonna openly carry again paying attention and a quality retention holster like a Safari Land ALS now you notice here he just yanks it off his body and probably the biggest thing that this guy did completely wrong is he wasn't paying attention to his surroundings so he hadn't seen that guy hadn't made eye contact with him had not managed that unknown contact and because of that because he just maybe felt like he wasn't under any threat or whatever this totally takes him by surprise and if you think you're going to stop somebody doing this when you're not paying attention you are fooling yourself that's exactly what this guy did here. Now, of course, he has the gun in the hands of a felon because stealing somebody's valuable item off their person is felony theft. So, so the idea says, oh, okay, wait a minute. Now you have put a gun in the hands of a felon and therefore, even though you probably don't have any legal responsibility, you do have moral responsibility for what happens with that firearm. So hear me, friends. If you carry a firearm in public, number one, you are responsible for the security of that firearm, which means if you carry that firearm openly, you need to have a, an active retention holster, a quality active retention holster, and pay attention to your surroundings to see what potential threats might be out there because of the valuable nature of the firearm. If you do not do that, you are irres as irresponsible as this guy, and you are not a self-defender. You are a target and not covering your ASP. 